Thanks, Mariana. Now let's talk all things entertainment. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's lawyers threatened the paparazzi with lawsuits. The warning was issued after paparazzi released the pictures of Markle and her son in a park on Vancouver Island. Last week, Buckingham Palace confirmed that Harry and Meghan will step down from their duties as members of the royal family to start a new life in Canada. American actors Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston reunite during the SAG Awards on Sunday. The two congratulated each other on the victories in their categories, shared a kiss and held hands. Pitt won an award for outstanding performance by a male actor in a supporting role in Tarantino's film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Aniston won the outstanding female actor in a drama series called The Morning Show. The 62nd annual Grammy Awards ceremony will air this weekend on January 26. Lizzo leads the way with most nominations, holding eight in total. Among the list of the Canadian artists nominated this year are Shawn Mendes, Drake, and Michael Bublé. Selena Gomez earns her third number one album on Billboard 200. The new record, called Rare, scores the top position on the chart, following her previous number ones, Stars Dance in 2012 and Revival in 2015. The grunge band Pearl Jam announces their new album's release date. Their 11th record, called Gigaton, will be out on March 27. The first single, Dance of the Clairvoyants, is available now. English rock icon Ozzy Osbourne reveals he has Parkinson's disease. The British singer stated that he got the diagnosis last February, shortly after having a neck surgery. Due to the issues with health, Osbourne's world tour was canceled last year. The legendary rock band Queen is featured on a new commemorative coin along with Britain's Queen Elizabeth. Released on Monday, the coin is available in silver proof, brilliant uh, uncirculated, and gold proof. This marks first time a British band is celebrated on a coin in the United Kingdom. Harry Jones, the star of the British Monty Python comedy team, dies at the age of 77. Diagnosed with a rare form of dementia in 2015, Jones battled FTD for over five years. Just weeks after finding out his diagnosis, he received a BAFTA Cymru Award for contributing to the British film and TV industry. That's it for the entertainment today. My name is Lukas Khadaya, now off to sports.